Hey Brooklyn, hey uh, friends, I'm excited to be on the under, other end of this uh, screen for you. I hope you're having such a great weekend, I'm, I'm sure it's a blast. Um, just here to answer a few questions from Kendall, uh, so this should be fun. Uh, where did you two first meet? So if, I guess if you don't count, if you if you don't count preschool uh, at SCA, then I would say, and if you don't count Pizza Inn, because we saw each other there and it was really awkward, but we didn't actually meet there. Uh, so if you don't count either of those two, uh, just a few more weeks after Pizza Inn. Uh, probably awkwardly talking to you for the first time in the hallway. It was probably the first time we really met. Okay, so, um, what was your first date? Okay, again, um, we don't fit the bill on all of these exactly, but what was your first date? Um, so, my glasses are a little crooked, aren't they? Um, our first date was uh, our first date with parents was um, Valentine's Day, so February fourteenth, two thousand nine. I think I hope I'm sure you'll tell me if I'm wrong, but uh, February fourteenth, two thousand nine, and it was uh, to see the. We ate dinner with your parents at, um, your parents picked me up in the car. We ate dinner at Dimitri's, and then we, um, we went and saw a movie, we went and saw Taken. That's what it was. So that was our first date with the parents, and then our first date was, this is going to be funny, um, First time on a date driving a car. First time Brooklyn had ever been on a date with a guy driving a car. Um, first time her mom would let her drive, uh, ride with a, a someone my our age. Um, we went to Fats Cafe and then to uh, Dairy Dream. And while leaving Dairy Dream, I. Um, I backed up into another car, so that we had a little bit of an incident on the first time, but that's okay. It just adds to uh, our story. It's fun to look back and laugh now, but at the mall at the time, definitely was not laughing. I was so embarrassed I couldn't show my face for a while. Um, so on to the next question: Who said I love you first? Uh, that was definitely me. Uh, didn't take long as uh, an as a uh, seventh grader would. Uh, I think the exact words were, uh, "I have a funny feeling about you," and as awkward and weird as that is now, I think in its truest sense, I knew then that there was just something different about you. I didn't I didn't feel the same way about you that I felt like about anybody else or how I ever had been that in my 13 years of life uh, as long as that was I'd never felt any I'd never felt this way about anyone else so just being able to um, be with you was something different and in, in the very early stages um, that was love or whatever it was um, it I can still look back and remember that feeling that there was just something different like I knew I was looking into something more than just a friend or just um, you know even a girlfriend at the time just that uh, there's something more to you uh, that I knew just had a feeling about so enough of that um, where did you guys share your first kiss? Uh, it only took me six months to strike up the courage to give Brooklyn a kiss uh, as an innocent um, well, seventh grader going into eighth grade would be. Uh, definitely took me a while. 
uh, w rightfully so. Uh, so we share our first kiss on uh, Brooklyn's trampoline at the time. She had a trampoline in her backyard and shows how young we were. And um, I had a trampoline in her backyard that uh, we sat on and, and, and looking at the stars. And I finally struck up enough courage to give her a kiss. Um, next question. What is your favorite color? What is Brooklyn's? Okay. Well, my color, my favorite color, I'm like a, I'm like a four-year-old girl. My favorite color changes every day, and I know that's weird, but I, you know, I, I love a lot of different colors. I guess in high school it was red because Bowling Springs Bulldogs, of course. Um. But now I would say I think my favorite color is navy. And Brooklyn would know this. I uh, just told her recently. My favorite color is like navy or army green. I just I like I like how those go together. I like how they look. Um, a little bit different. So, um, what is Brooklyn's favorite color? Uh, aqua green, turquoise, that uh, sea foam green, that kind of family. I don't. Uh, know exactly the name that it goes by, but it's something in the family of like seafoam green, aqua, or um, turquoise, something like that. <clears throat> um, what is your favorite TV show? What is Brooklyn's favorite TV show? Mine, we'll go with Brooklyn's first because hers is easy. Uh, it's 24, Jack Bauer, no question about it, um, but anything in that genre of suspense and uh, storyline that's Brooklyn all day uh, I on the other hand I love shows like that but just the simplicity and I like when I watch TV I like it to be pretty um, pretty easy to watch uh, and I don't have to focus too much on it because I'm usually focused all day so uh, I really like um, the Office. I love the. I I can't believe I just said I like The Office. I love The Office. Uh, it's my favorite show. It's great. Um, and Brooklyn's going to soon be a lover of The Office too. We're just gonna throw that in there. Um, what is your favorite physical quality of Brooklyn's? Um, it's kind of a weird question, but. I didn't write the questions, I'm just here to answer them. So, uh, your favorite physical quality of Brooklyn's? Um, I think, obviously, I wouldn't be marrying her if I didn't think that she was the most beautiful girl in the world. Um, not only on the outside, but on the inside. Um, but I would say my, now this might seem weird, I guess it, can, she's going to get mad at me about saying this too, but, and I've told her this before, I love the, um, the mole on her ear, like on her earlobe right there, I just, I think that's adorable, um, I love her, I think, um, I, her feet, obviously, no, I'm just kidding, um, but just, I think, I, even her, her height is, I think we go really well together, so um, those may not be the answers you're looking for, but um, I don't feel comfortable sharing anything other than that, so um, <laughs> next question, um, what is your, okay, we're not going back to that one, what is your, oh, what is Brooklyn's favorite physical quality of mine, um, other than, um, my my guns up here, my, the gun show. Um, other than that, again, like that's a I don't know. Um, maybe my height. Maybe. Um, oh, I know. I think it's my legs. I think she really likes my long legs. Okay, uh, what 
is one word to best describe Brooklyn. Oh my goodness. I should have looked at these beforehand. Um, one word. Nah. I can't describe her in one word. Um, Brooklyn in one word. I can't describe her in one word. Uh, she's incredibly beautiful. Uh, she's the most fun to be around. Uh, she's any time I'm having a bad day, she just makes it a million times better. Um, she's nurturing. She wants to take care of me, and I. We all know that I need it. Um, She's so much fun to be around, so willing to try new things, um, to be adventurous. Um, she's already showing me of how um, she's going to compliment me in so many ways as a wife, and that we that she's going to be um, just the best wife um, in so many areas. Um, take care of me, love me. Um, as we together strive uh, to love others, the people around us, to set an example of the, for the people around us, um, as we have been given an example in Christ, we now can go and set an example for others, and I can't think of anyone better to be able to set that example with. And just on top of all of that, amazingly beautiful, just gorgeous to look at, uh, get to look at her forever, and that's amazing. Um, and on top of all that, just so talented, being able to listen to her play the the piano and to hear her sing, it just melts my heart every time. And I could just listen to her play the keys all day long, every day. So I know that doesn't answer the question at all, but I had to get that out. Um, so one word to describe me from Brooklyn. Mm. I don't know. I hope funny. I hope she thinks I'm funny, cause that's what I got going for. I hope that she thinks that um, I'm a hard worker and that um, a provider. I hope some of those might be it, but we'll see. Um. What is your biggest pet peeve and what is Brooklyn's? Easy, bite my fingernails is from Brooklyn. Um, I like to bite my fingernails, as you can tell here. They're down. Um, and my biggest pet peeve, I admit to you guys that um, I have kind of a few pet peeves. I know it's not good to be so... Um, so pessimistic about things, but my one the first thing that comes to my mind are when windshield wipers are on and it's not raining. It's the worst. When it's going and it's like the windshield's already dry, like just turn your windshield wipers off. I, I hate the the I hate to see that. I hate the sound that it makes. I just hate the. I was just wasting, you know. Um, I hate when people don't drop pull all the way up in a drive through. And especially when there's, it's a really long line and there's like people, if you've ever been to Hardee's at like 9 a.m. or like 8.30 or 9 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, I don't know if it's still like that in Bowling Springs, but if you've ever done that, there's like, it's out into the road and there's people not pulled up all the way, that just really irks me. Um, so, yeah, and but even just when the line's shorter and there's just a gap, like just pull up all the way, you know, make this line uniform. And that brings me to my next point in that I love efficiency. I hate when things are inefficient. I hate my biggest pet peeve about Brooklyn specifically is how unorganized she is, specifically with her phone and how she does not put things in folders. She does not organize things to where it's easy to find. Uh, if you go look at her phone, like she might have like one or two folders now, but 
she is like she's got like eight pages of apps. She never deletes apps that she doesn't use anymore. So that is by far I would say that that's pretty by far like my biggest pet peeve of hers and just how inefficient that is. Like it's so easy to put your apps in a folder. It's so easy. But apparently it's too hard. Um I digress. Um what is your favorite thing to do together? Man, I can think of a lot of things that we love to do together. Um, I love, we love playing with Weston together. He's awesome. Where is that guy? Weston. He's laying on the bed. Um, we love playing with Weston together. We love, um, I love riding in the car with her. Uh, with the windows down and however cliche that might be it's just fun to to spend time together but I think I look back at some of our best times together and um, just being able to do something new together whether that be travel like to the northeast or going on cruises or um, you know, ride a four-wheeler in the jungle um, just all those things, getting to experience things new with Brooklyn is is the best thing. But just as simple as hanging out um, is awesome. So love spending time with you, Brooklyn, no matter what it is. Just want to make that clear. Um, how would you describe the theme of your wedding? Okay, oh, I missed one. I'm sorry. Um, I'll do this. One. I'll go ahead and do this one. How would I describe the theme of our, our wedding? It would be country retro chic. Is that pretty close? I think so. I think it's pretty close. Um, if you could be any superhero, who would who would you be? Why? Me? Brooklyn, I'm sure is gonna get this wrong because she doesn't know superheroes. This, I I really love superheroes. Um. It kind of sounded weird, but I do like superhero movies. My favorite superhero, and if I could be any of them, it would be Iron Man, because I think his suits are the coolest. Like he could, his suit could come out of like a little chip in on his arm, and it could form all the way around him, and he can fly, he can do everything. And um, but I'm sure she's not gonna agree because she probably doesn't know who Iron Man is, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I think that's who I'd be. And like, he's filthy rich. Not that that's a big deal, but it's a little bit of a big deal. Um, how would you describe the thing? Oh, I already did that one. What is Brooklyn's Starbucks order? Okay, it's one or two. One of two. Iced caramel macchiato or iced vanilla latte? Easy. Check. Which one of you is better with kids? Easy, Brooklyn. No debate. Uh, I love kids. Can't wait to have them one day. But Brooklyn's great with kids. Well, she's gonna be an amazing mother. Y'all know that. Um, which one of you is better with cooking? Um, I'm just kidding. It's Brooklyn. Yeah. I like to cook sometimes, but she's probably better at it. I don't know if she doesn't cook for me very much, but hopefully she will soon. Which one of you is better at dancing? Me. We all know that's true. Or me and Brooklyn know that's true. Y'all may not know that's true. Um, and then last but not least, what sweet words do you have to share with her? in preparation of the wedding. Oh my goodness. I could go on for hours, so I wanna try to keep this brief. Um first thing would I would say is I'm glad that you specified that it was sweet words. I would hate to say something not sweet. But um so yeah. Just words uh that I can give you, sweet words I can give you as you prepare, as we prepare for our wedding and um a few days, 43 days, something like that. I don't know what it is from you when you're reading, when you're watching this, but I would just say enjoy it. 
Uh, this is such a special time in our lives as we're finishing up school, we're moving to a house, we are getting married, sp about to spend the rest of our lives together, go on a, a, a trip, that's going to be fun too, uh, and all these great things that are happening, and as I know, as stressful as this wedding can be, um, I would just encourage you to, when there is bad, not to overlook the bad, not overlook the good and only see the bad that's happening. That this is such a special time and it's so exciting. There's so many people that we're thankful for, like all of you girls, uh, that we're so thankful for that are loving us, that are supporting us, and that are here for us, and that are celebrating with us. And that, um, you know, whether it rain or whether, you know, something happens. Just know that at 4 o'clock the wedding starts and at 4.20 hopefully or 4.30, I don't know how long it takes, but hopefully like around 4.30 we're going to be married. And that is what the whole day is about. All the other stuff is just extra and none of that's going to take away from us being um, married and that's amazing. That should be comforting knowing that things may happen but... Um, I'm more ready to marry you than ever. I'm more excited to marry you than ever. And uh, we're about to start our lives together. And that's just so exciting for me. And I know I'm in a lot different than you. And I know that like, that's a lot easier said than done for you. But um, I'm just so excited. And I know that it's going to be great. I know that everything about our wedding is going to be great. And we just also that... Um, you know, we can only control what we can control. We can only, um, we can only answer for what we do while we're here. And um, no matter what you know, someone else does, or no matter what the weather does, even that uh, we are only responsible for our actions and our even our reactions and how we react to situations. And that is going to be. Um, as Christ has called us to live and called us to react to situations or as the world does and um, I just encourage you and and desire to see you uh, like you already have been and like you will I know you will to uh, react to things that don't go our way with love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and good and good and goodness and gentleness and self-control that we are level-headed going into this time and just excited above all else. Nothing in the world can ruin and take away from our joy that we have uh, in Christ and with one another. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited I got to do this and talk to you a little bit on your exciting weekend. And I, I know it's a blast. I'm excited to see you again. And uh, I won't take up any more of y'all's time. So... I love you, babe, and uh, y'all have a great time. Bye.